If you could give one piece of advice to the parents of newly diagnosed autistic kids, what would you say? Um, I would say don't try to fix them. Focus more on support. Um, I don't, I guess one of the things right now is people are finally advocating against um, ABA. Um, to me, like when I see ABA, I see people trying to make neurodiverse children neurotypical. And to me, it's not like you can, you can hide the label from your child. You can do all these things. Your child will always be autistic. Uh, even if you fear the label, a lot of, to me, I wish I had been told or if somebody had realized that I was autistic so that I could find people like me. Um, so I would say focus more on support um, and let them be children. Uh, just because they're a little different, that's all they are. They're just different. They're not broken. They're not deficient in anything. They're just different. Um, and I would say find positive influences. Uh, I would pay, um, if I had a million dollars, I would pay a million dollars to have read a book with an autistic child in it as a kid or seen a movie that wasn't Rain Man um, to see something on TV about autism that wasn't inspiration porn or this autistic kid finally said a word. Like it, it, it really, I had, I'm at a point right now where for the past two years, I'm having to unpack a lot of ableism. I'm having to unlearn these things because I grew up as the, I grew up as the sibling of a neurodiverse child, not knowing that I was neurodiverse. So I grew up thinking that neurodiversity was bad. And now that I'm more involved, like I always identify, like uh, connected with my brother, but now I really see how he, the ways that he was treated actually affected him negatively. So I would just say, let him be children. Mm. And that's about it. <laughs> that was great. Oh, thank you. That was great. I told you we pause sometimes. <laughs> it's a little awkward to like, okay, just to inhale and exhale that one. <laughs>